Nike Mikono Jom says, Lord, we give you this glory. We worship you and you glorify you. You are bound with the You are bound with the You are bound with You are the You are bound with You are bound You are bound You are You are You are You You are 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 You Oli katonda sukuru mi vintu mi ona. Oli katonda we chisa. We ba dem polo koma ya yuda. Tuko sinza tuko we chiti. We ba dem mokam. Thank you Lord. Siva wanoga to nyambi mokama. Siva wanoga to kute kusonga zange. Oh, Siva wanonga to nyambie mukama Siva wanonga to kute kusonga zange Siva wanonga to kute kusonga zange Siva wanonga to nyambie mukama Siva wanonga to kute kusonga zange Wanike mikono mosinze wanike mikono mosinze Siva wanonga to nyambie mukama Lift up your hands and worship him. Mugambe, Mugambe, Mugambe. CCTV, exploring the heart of worship. MCCTV. Exploring the heart of war.
We bless your name, O oh God. We exalt you, my God. You are the mighty God. You are the most high God. Rosha Kantaya, Maka Prozentea, Ria Baba Baba Shande, Remande Kaya Baba, Rosha Niyaraba. We bless you, King of Glory, the mighty one of Israel, the Lamb upon the throne, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Rabba Baba Baba Baba, Kata, Ria Baba Baba Baba, Rabba Baba Baba Baba, Rosha Kata. Mashakata, Maka Prozete, Ria Baba Baba, get a maso, get a maso, get a maso. Sikurida was Sababa Nanga, Sikurida, Sukolo Motima Boyo Gerane Katona, Mara Sheketea, Ramande Kaya Baba, Roshan Takasa, Rika Boshantaya, Ria Bakashata, Maka Prozetea, Rika Baba Baba, you are the mighty God, you are the awesome God. We call upon you today, we lift our voices to you, Mara Sheketea, Ria Bakashande, Roshan Takaba Baba, Mara Mandea, Rakaba. Roshanta Kababa, Roshekete Ababa, Rakababa, Ria Bakashade, Mande Kaprosete. We bless your name, O God. We call on you, my Father. Release your power, release your grace, release your anointing, release your spirit, my God. Ramashekete, Rakabashete, Makabrazataya, Rikaboshataya, Manda Kaprosea, Rikababa Baba, Shikantaya Baba Baba, Makarabazete, Roshanta Kababa, Pera. Pera, pera, roshanta kababa, rosheketi ya baba, raba kashanta ya, akaraba zata, ramanda kaya baba, roshanda raba raba raba, roshakanta ya baba, ria bakashanta ya, manda brada kaya ni, roda kabrozeti ya, raba kashanta kaya baba, raba kashanta, ria bakashani, mande kabrozeti ya, rimande kaya baba, roshandi ya raba raba, ramande kaya baba, roshanta kababa baba, gado wanda. Rekaba shata, ria baka shata, mande kabra daya. Ora baba baba baba, ora nda kaba baba baba, ora mbara bako shata, ria baka shata, makabro zetea, rimande kaya baba, robo koshi kata, ramande kaya baba, ora baba baba baba, shikata ya baba baba, rekaba shata, rekaba baba baba, rekaba shote, ranta kasikea, God of wonders, ria baka shata, yes oh my God. Wambazama, wambazama futa, wambazeche samo kama, wambazomo lido, wambazomo yemo kama. Ramande kaya, roshanta kababa, roshakanta ya, ramande kaya baba, robo koshi kata, ria baka shande, makabra daya, ramande yaba, roshanta kababa, randa raba raba, raka baba baba, yanda raba kusha taya baba 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 baba. Mara baka shete ke ya baba baba, mando raba ka shete ya mbere mbere, moro boko shikata ya baba baba, mando robo zeke te ya baba baba, mando robo zeke ya mama mama, maro shete te ya baba baba baba, mando robo zeke te, mando robo koshete ya ne. 
They will give it to you quickly. We are still in our 40 days of fasting. If you have not yet joined, better join. God is going to bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. So if you're ready with your offering, you need a tithe envelope, lift up your hand. Father, in Jesus' name we are praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you are bringing in your house. We ask you to bless the offerings. 
the tithes, all the pledges that we have brought before you. May you bless everyone who is here. Let, them, let their increases multiply. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come and give here those who are in front. Those who are at the back, you can give them. In Jesus' name. I'm Sangama Sogangi, Rimukama, Uanga Yamani, Yangi, Ukuira Kangi, Uimu Gwemanda. We started last week speaking about prayer. And we're talking about the men who pray. In one night and their lives changed. By the time they slept, they slept in their beggars. But by the time it was in the morning, their lives are transformed. Which means that if we enter into prayer, our lives can change. That's why the Bible says a spiritual man is like wind. You can never understand him. No one can understand him. No one knows where God is going to take you. That's why it's very important to remain so focused in the spirit. In one night, Joseph slept as a slave. He slept as a prisoner. But the following morning, his address had changed. When we stick to God, when we call on God, God can change our lives. No matter who you are, and no matter where you come from, if we hold on God, God is able to change us. Somebody say amen. Lift up your hand and say, Jesus, I need you to change my life. If you can go and see those on the microphone, please remain standing. Tell your neighbor, look at me critically. Be careful, I can change anything. My life can change. My things can change. Maybe you understand me the way you do. But, I can change my life. When we call on God, He has the power to change us. He has the power to lift us. He has the power to relocate us. He has the power to transcend us or to translate us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Never despise yourself. And never think your condition can never change. As long as you hold on God, your condition is not permanent. It is subject to change. People who seek God, they have always changed. No matter where they are, God can change your status. God can change your life. God can change everything about you. God can 
will make people wonder what is happening. In one night, in 24 hours, your life can change because of the power of prayer. That's why we need to pray. Our hearts must cry out to God. Our spirits must groan to God. Let us avoid playing in prayer. Let us pray until our hearts connect to the Spirit of God. Because when your heart connects with God in prayer, nothing is impossible to happen in your life. Your heart must connect with God. There must be a passion in your spirit. There must be an inward cry for God in your life. And you are saying, Lord, change my life. Lord, change my spirit. Lord, touch me once again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is ready to take you to another level. God is ready to equip you and empower you. But you must take the first step. You must step up your prayer life. You must step up your commitment with God. If you're here, please say amen. Now, if you're not here, please say amen again. Have you heard this but we're not here? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lift up your hand and say, Jesus. I want to step up. Praise the Lord. Step up in your life. Step up in your spirit. Step up in your prayer. What does it mean to step up? Where you've been. Please step up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have been praying a small prayer in these 40 days, come out when you are a champion of prayer. You are a giant in prayer. If you have been praying 30 minutes in these 40 days, try to tune yourself. Step up and enter into a dimension of hours so that God can change your life. Revival is not bathed in small prayers. Revival comes in large and many much prayers. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. It comes in greatness of prayers. The more we pray, the more we create an atmosphere for the coming of God. What is revival? Revival is the coming of God where a man has failed in his own strength and wisdom. When you reach a level and you cannot do it, then you need God to come and do it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a church, we need a visitation of God. As a family, you need your visitation in God. As you an individual, you need God to take you to another level. It is not time to play. It's time to pray. It is not time to joke. It is time to go into the deeper places. The Bible says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide abide under the shadows of the almighty we must abide under the wings of God we must abide under the grace of God we must take ourselves underneath in the God the enemy will not see you when you hide in God look at your neighbor and tell him hide in God your persecutors will not see you those who torment you will not see you those who speak against you will not touch you. Those who want your downfall will not see you. Because once you dwell in the secret place, the wings of the Lord will cover you. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encampeth around all those who fear him. When we seek God, the God creates a a vacuum around us. He creates something that rounds us up. So that means that nothing can just happen on you by accident. Praise the Lord. Tap your neighbor and tell him neighbor. Hide in God. Hide in the Lord. Hide in God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is an animal in the bush. It's called the coney. 
a mound over. It's like a rabbit kind of an animal. It stays in the bush. It stays in the, in the jungles. And in the jungles, there are so many wild animals. Predators that want to eat it. But how does the coney survive in the jungle and leaves and gives birth and grows and, and no animal is able to take it? The, the coney knows one secret. It goes and builds its house in the rocks, in between the rocks. So that's where it stays. Up in the rocks. So the coney says, I don't know how to run. I don't know how to fight. I don't know how to jump. But I will hide myself in the rocks. Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor and tell him, hide yourself in the rocks. An animal, however powerful it is, it cannot climb a rock. It cannot shake the rock and throw it down. That rock is Jesus Christ. When we hide in God, no matter what the devil says, no matter what situation says, you are hidden in the secret place of the Most High. You are under the shadows of the Almighty God. No demon, no witchcraft, no sorcery will reach you. Somebody say amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him I may not know how to run. Mugambe takuri Mugambe I may not run faster than a lion. I may not run faster than a leopard. But I will hide myself in the most high in the rocks in God. Once you realize that you have a weakness in your life, then you have to hide yourself in the rocks where the devil can do you no harm. Once you are hidden in the rocks, the devil will speak and say everything. Challenges will come. People will speak. But you will be hidden in the presence of God. You will be protected by God. Those who curse will curse, but you will be protected. Those who speak will speak, but you'll be hidden. Somebody say amen. Tell your neighbor, I am hidden in God. I'm hidden in God. Even when COVID comes, even when HIV comes, even when cancer comes, you hide yourself in the Lord in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Touch your neighbor and tell him, excuse me. I am not all that strong. Mugamba chitegeri. Tell him so that he understands. You it. think that you were Jesus' metal. You are Jesus' metal. Tell him I'm not a metal. Nene, yes. But I'm hiding in Christ. Once we seek God, God creates a secret place. God hides us in the rocks. Hides us in the secret place of the most high. Where no spirit, no power can reach you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The secret is in secret. God. Build a house in the rocks. Ask your neighbor for me, where is your house? I remember the scripture, the Holy Spirit has reminded Matthew 7. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you Sing it, sing it, sing it to God. I will trust in you.
Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 the Bible says therefore whosoever hears these words of mine and does them will be like him who a wise man who built his house on the rock the rains descended the floods came they, they blew and beat upon the house and it fell not and it because it was founded on the rock and they and everyone that hears the, these things of mine and does not do them shall be likened to a foolish man which built his house upon the sand the rains descended the floods came the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell and great was its fall Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lift your hand and say, Oh Lord, for me to build my house on the rock. Say it again, help me build my house on the rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether he is my wife and does them, it's going to be like that man who built his house. So we are, we are speaking about someone who builds the house in the rocks. When you build yourself in the rocks, you are acknowledging that without God you cannot stand. You are telling God that I cannot survive without you. So we hide in God because we know if we are standing on ourselves then the storms and challenges of life they are going to overtake us. They are going to beat us. They are going to destroy us. But when we hide in God yes they will come but they will not defeat us. Yes they will beat us but we shall remain standing. So as children of God we must learn to hide in God. Let's go in the secret place of the most high God. Tell your neighbor, I'm going, I'm, I'm hiding myself. Mugambe, Mugambe, I'm hiding myself. Mugambe, the reason why you're not seeing me anymore, Nekwese. I'm hiding myself. The reason why we don't just anymore, is because I'm hiding. Hey, Mugambe, I'm hiding myself. Tell him so that he understands it. He may be seeing you not coming to his place. You're no longer calling. Then you just until you just fall. And you just fall. Amen. Have you ever talked even the chica, if, uh, chica gets over when you're still talking? No. When they call you, please just tell them I'm hiding. These 40 days hide yourself. Hide yourself in God. Amen. Amen. Seek God. God do something new. That God lifts you up. This year you have to come out. 2018 and 2020 there have been problems. Now 2022 you have to enter somewhere in the name of Jesus. What you know God has to bring them back to you. What you have to come back to you in the name of Jesus. He has to lift you above the place. He has to lift you above all situations. Gamba neighbor, my government, kumurundi kunogoka. Tell your neighbor for this time. Nino kusituka. I have to be lifted up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The coney will hide itself. A monde jakwe kweka. It will sit in the rocks. Ere jakutu la munda. And watch a lion down. Neda bempolo goma wansa. It will sit in the rocks. Ere jakutu la wagulwe yomunda. And watch a python. Ere be umsoto munene. 
and the python cannot reach it because there is no animal except those they call them the goats of Huawei those who climb, those goats which climb rocks no other animal can climb a rock. An animal can climb a tree it can climb anything else but when it comes to the rock uh, things got hard. so the coney says let me hide myself I don't know how to speak I don't know how to talk I am not beautiful enough I am not popular enough I am not a, a superstar but I will hide myself in the rocks I will hide in God and God will give me a definition God will introduce me to the nation God will put favor on my life God will put glory upon me and people will not see my weakness but they shall see the glory of God Somebody say amen. Touch your neighbor, tell him hide in God. Praise the Lord. That's why it's not good to condemn or to reach out to others and attack them. Amen. Amen. Doesn't matter how God has blessed you or how God has lifted you. Be careful not to attack another person. Not to attack another fellow. Because wherever you have reached, it's because of God. It's by the grace of God. Whatever you have received, it's by the grace of God. If someone has not reached where you are, you don't have to look down on that person. It's just a matter of time. And he will be where you are. Tell your neighbor I'm also coming. Tell him I'm on my way. Tell him I know you went before. But I'm coming. Everybody has a time. Everybody has a season. The Bible says he makes everything beautiful in its time. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor you have your time. Praise the Lord. Tell him you have your time. Tell him you have your time. Amen. 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 Tell him you have your time. You have your time. We are preaching. You ask later. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tap your neighbor and tell him neighbor. You have your time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He makes everything beautiful in its time. Amen. 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 The way you are now, it wasn't the way you were back then. The sister to Mrs. Walde had not but the way she is that is not the way she was 20 years ago praise the Lord now turn to your neighbor and tell him the way you're seeing me now be careful things are going to change and the one that is laughing at you let it be because when we see you laughing after a little time then you'll, you'll not be laughing anymore because God is going to change your life in the name of Jesus everyone who seeks God everyone who calls on God there comes a time when God changes your story when God changes your life when God changes everything around you when God lifts a standard those who look down on you they begin to look up to you those who walked away from you they begin to come back to you every failure in your life begins to turn around into success in Jesus name somebody say amen touch your neighbor and tell him I am going somewhere and I'm going to seek my God I am going to call on my God I am going to build my house in the rocks what does it mean to build your house in our 40 days right now our meaning is prayer what it means in 40 days is prayer pray because you are building
building your house. It doesn't matter what people are saying. Keep building your house. And build it in the rocks. Build it in God. Whenever you build in God, you're building on the rocks. But when you're building other things, and you build on your mother, Mama, Mama, Mrs. Jaya takes care of her children. Now even their children also build on their mother. Ha, mm -hmm. Because mother cares. Ha, ha. No. Even if your mother cares about his mother, he will put a rock in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Because even mommy has built on the rock. Stop your neighbor and tell him build on the rock. On the rock. Don't build on people's promises. Do not build on how the way people talk to you. Do not build on that promise your father gave you. Do not build on your, your house on that person who promised you. Many people are building on their houses. 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 Many people are why you fall and fall? Uh, you're just sugar in When I go, I'll come back. Even if there are 10 years. Please wait for me. Hey. Hey, hey. Now you're here, you're built. You're building. Brother asks you. Say, Please leave me alone. Leave me alone, I don't know. Me, I'm already there. Muganda wange kona kuna yomu gaiti zimba ku Yesu. Mugambe zimba ku Yesu. Nze walobe nsanze walobe nsanze banji. I've met so many people. Eh gente hamburira ngamburire nji. Where I walk preaching the gospel. Ombuze eh wa how na vaye yo. I left that place. Mune we na limva yo. And I was coming there. Walobe we na suwisa wo. I promise someone. Mimi mwana ibintu ebya. You know I don't like those. Nsika tie chuke byeyo si cha yagala. I don't want those things anymore. Mukaba praise the Lord. Omuntu ava wano. Place, and goes to life. He needs the grace of God to remember you. But if you built in Jesus, and Jesus took him there, He will bring him back. Say Amen. Tell your neighbor. Why are you building? And ask him, what are you building? Everyone is building. Everyone is building. Everyone is building. Someone is building a house. Someone is building a house. Someone is building a house. Someone is building a village. There is someone building with money. Someone is building in things of just playing around. Just. How are you building? The rich person who builds in Christ builds in prayer. He builds in seeking God. Whenever you go deep in God, you get different questions that helps you to build while you're going. But whenever you build things that are weak, turn to your neighbor and tell him if you build a weak thing, Rain is coming. Tell him rain is coming. If you build on someone, rain is coming. There is a song that says, on the, on the solid rock I stand. Jesus. All other sands, all other, all other foundations are sinking sands. Praise the Lord. There is only one solid rock. That is Jesus Christ. That is where we build our houses. That's where we build our future. You can build your future in God. You can stand as a reputable person. A man and a woman of integrity. Where you don't need anyone to, to push you or to, to seduce you to do it. But you are looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of your faith. Praise the Lord. Later, you can say, Oh Lord, help me to build.
Father, we thank you. Let us build houses that are going to stand. Praise the Lord. It's very important. What are you building? And where are you building it? What are you building? You might be building a relationship. What are you building? You might be building your vision. What are you building? You might be building your, your business. Where are you building it? You are building it on Christ. You are building it on the rock. Amen. Look at your neighbor and ask him, where are you building what you are building? Where are you building it? It's only on the rock. Why do you need to build it on the rock? Because you are a coney. You are a weak person. You cannot survive in the wilds of the evil spirits. You need to, to build yourself on the rock. You need to build your reputation on the rock. Everything that you desire is hidden in God. Build yourself in God. In these 40 days, cry out to God. Don't don't play. Pray. Let God start a new level in your life. Let God lift a standard. Forty days are very significant. When you look in the Bible, God used to take his generals in forty days. And every forty days something happens. So that means when people go in for a long fast, and because they have stayed longer in the presence, God God gets time to do something special in their lives. If you want a, to be a preacher and you fear to go for the days, my friend, think twice. Because God builds ministries not in theological schools but in the secret place of the Most High. He builds when you are with him. And you have to give him time. So that he works on you. He draws a masterpiece of your life. He creates something in your spirit. That is going to drive you for the rest of your life. Praise the Lord. God matures a boy or a girl to a woman and a man through these prayers and seeking God and reading the word of God. God matures you. He takes away spirit, spiritual boy, boyhood and makes you a woman or a man. Ask your neighbor, are you a spiritual man or a spiritual boy? Ask him, are you a man or a boy? <laughs> Do not fear. Ask your neighbor, pastor is asking. Are you a boy or a man? If you remain a boy, you are going to make us suffer. Praise the Lord. Zimba. Build. Zimba. Tell him build. Praise the Lord. How can you tell a spiritual boy? It's not in age. In spirituality. Someone can be young. But when he's old. Tell your neighbor you can be young but when you're old. And you can be old, but when you're young. In the spiritual realm, you're still putting on these shorts. And when they see you, they see you going to the primary school. You're carrying books running, going to school. Please just take a picture. At your age, your girl running to the primary school. Having a badge here. Running, going to class. <laughs> Now you have to fight. It is very dangerous. For you to have your age when they're not matching in that 
on top you are old but inside you are young it's very dangerous because people will be mistaken they might think you are old when you are young and they give you responsibilities of old people yet you are young and you mess them up stop confusing us if you are growing grow Let me tell your neighbor, if you're growing, please grow. The Bible says when I was young, I used to behave like a young child. When I grew up, I laid out the I put them aside. Now I've grown. What do the grown people do? The they seek for God. Secondly, they have a way they behave. The person who is old, the, uh, the and the person who is old cannot see you coming back home. Na kula na buka, mami, jolo, daddy, jolo. Muchala jia yari wa ava kumuli. He says jia is coming from work. Again, I kula Fiona. Now he sees Fiona. Mami, jolo, daddy. I come here. Mami, much for you, kusanya kaka, kaka, baba, kaka, mama, ziga, bana. Mami, rejoicing, she just cries and says, "Mama, what is this that I found?" Amen. Praise the Lord. Tap your neighbor and ask him. Are you still a chololo Christian? Oli chololo Christian. Bolibu enei sa yekulagani tuli mukuru bali moto. Your behavior is still if you're grown up or you're still. Bobo chaya galeni yoko gera kubano. If you still want to talk about your friend. Bobo yaga galeni yoko gamba chali moto. If you want gossiping, you're still young. Bobo maybe yoko sabato biya galo chali moto. If you don't like praying, you're still young. Bobo Bible yekutawa nyoko soma. If the Bible confuses you. O chali moto. You're still young. Not confuses you. You don't want to read it. Bobo chaya galeni yoko soma. You're still young. O chali moto. If things of coming to church this time, every time they time for Sunday. Bulonga matsawa yake namchonga ma ofana. Olinga linyo lusozi. As if you're climbing a hill. Okujja wana kuchacho olwana bulwana. Coming here to church you just battle with it. Walo juzi na wewe na watu wao bujulizi nenjagalo nensirika. Last time I had people testifying then I just kept. Banange nalwanye. I fought. Nalwanye bulwanye okutuka. I just fought to come here. Ah ah uracho olwana uchali muto. Why do you fight you're still young? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Someone was coming from Chireku there. I told my neighbor, but God helped me. Let me tell your neighbor, are you still fighting to go to church? You still go to church? Go to church. Go to church. No. Grow up. Tell your neighbor grow up. Tell your neighbor grow up. Another thing when you reach in prayer, you see it like climbing a hill. You know when you're going to take medicine, you take a break. Now you just turn around. Look at it. You even feel like crying. You count them. Now, if that is how prayer is to you, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. Hey, I'm about to pray. I'm about to start. I'm going to start praying. Just know yourself. You need to grow up in the name of Jesus. Prayer has to be food. The way you fight for food. The way you want food. The way you want food. That is how the way you want. To pray. The way you're on food the way you're always, that is the way you're supposed to be in prayer. prayer keeps us living. Prayer is our breath in the spirit. How many times do you breathe?
MCC TV Exploring the Heart of Worship MCCTV Exploring to give us the grace that we can come also at night. Rain from midnight to 5 a.m. in the morning. Praise the Lord. I've ever done it and I used to do it. But I pray that God gives me that grace once again. So that I, I, I decrease on what I do. And I spend my time in prayer. Oh, Joseph, eh? And you came in prayer. Oh, Zimbe. And you built oh, your spiritual man. If you understood, say amen. But now, come and build those two hours. Build yourself. Pray. Pray. Praise the Lord. Let God lift you. You cannot remain the same. If you do it for one you week, you see a difference in your life. If you continue doing it, you say I was there, but now I'm here. If you understood, please say amen. Later, if you want to say, Oh Lord, teach me how to pray. And building my house. And the rock. Amen. A prayerful pastor. MCC TV Exploring the Heart of Worship Praise the Lord Whenever you pray and go deeper There is something that gets MCC TV. 